What is Donald Trump trying to accomplish on China? That's the big question in the presidential transition right now because of a series of events over the last few days that began when Donald Trump took a congratulatory phone call from the president of Taiwan. This is a very controversial act because the U.S. recognizes the government of Beijing, not the government of Taiwan, as the one and true government that governs China. And its relationship with uh, Taiwan has been an arm's length relationship since 1979 when the two countries broke diplomatic relations. China considers Taiwan a breakaway province doesn't look kindly on official relations between Taiwan and the U.S. So Donald Trump's call caused quite a furor. The Chinese reacted fairly mildly initially, but Donald Trump then basically doubled down over the weekend in some tweets in which he said, you know, I don't need China's permission to talk to the government of Taiwan. I don't need their permission. They don't need our permission to do some of the things that they do. And then he criticized China's trade policies, its currency policy, and its aggressiveness in the South China Sea. And that, in turn, does seem to have excited the Chinese who responded in the People's Daily, the official government newspaper, with a tough editorial that said, essentially, this is not the way to handle U.S.-Chinese relations. Uh, we have the ability to retaliate if we need to. So, again, what is Donald Trump trying to do? Well, it looks as if one of the things he's trying to do is send a signal to China that you're not going to uh, find a pushover in Donald Trump. I'm going to be tough. I'm going to take a tougher line with China than my predecessors have. And his people are calculating that they can do that while also still saying we're not really changing U.S. one China policy. We're not changing the policy that recognizes only Beijing as the legitimate government of China. So in a sense, it's an attempt to have it both ways at this point. One footnote here, one of the problems down the road is that at some point, Donald Trump is going to need China's help to deal with the problem of nuclear arms in North Korea just next door to China.